Okay, we got another um, thermal switch from Senseus. I hope I got that right. And this one is going to be closing at 150 degrees. It's upside down. Um, and then opening at 135 degrees because it was getting, still getting too hot. And this one's uh, made waterproof, so it should be pretty good. And you can see it's uh, delivered for 23 bucks. So let's go upstairs. Oh, I got a couple other things um, from Watts. It's a dual automatic float valve. Plus, I guess you can um, pay $25 for it. Just uh, if there's, if you think it's failed, and I've had them fail, you can uh, just press the button. Let's open that up. So there's a button you can press to uh, to see if it actually works. Because I've had um, some failures because of my temperature got too hot. Mostly my fault because of the steam. But we got another one from uh, is it Kalefi? Sixty bucks. So, and this one's supposed to take up to, can you read that? I can't read that. 360 degrees Fahrenheit. So, this will go in a crucial area. And I paid $60 for this one. So, let's go upstairs and try to change that before the sun gets really hot here. Okay, okay there's the other one. It's a little bit... Uh, to, um, kicks in too hot and uh, I customized this one a little bit ground it off just a little bit so that it fits on there better so hopefully that'll work is that on or on I don't know okay um, changed out looks the same I like to leave my wire nuts up so the water gets in there and uh, let's see how it works hope you're having a good solar hot water day um, this is just to um, have the uh, radiator turned on and there's the pump over there so that just will turn on only when it gets uh, too hot and reads 150 degrees Fahrenheit 